Hello everybody, welcome to AeroBB, week number 9, we've got Jedi Bear versus Chavite. Jedi Bear has got a decent chauffe team, Chavite has got a very TV efficient Camry team and a wizard. Um, this guy looks weird because he's got, he hasn't got piling on, but the reason is he's got minus movement. We've got a very nice ball carrier there, strength 4, rage 4, blocks your hands, really nice. Pretty nice balls. Bit too much tackle. He went he went anti elf, uh, which I'm not a fan of <laughs> because I'm elves. Um, and yeah, you know he's got a got a couple of rookie chaffs and one with just guard. So it's not it's not the best core of blockers that you've ever seen. Um, Chavita has got monster tomb guardians. One of them's minus move this one, but he's got stand firm, so it's not too bad. And three blocked him and Guardians is amazing, right? Two tackle pom Blitzras, amazing. Uh, decent carriers. So yeah, pretty pretty nice pretty nice Kemri team. Yeah. Well I don't know when he took the horns, right? If he already had the minus move when he got horns, then that should have been jump up. Hundred percent. That should have been jump up if it was already minus move. I think. I think he should have definitely gone jump up if he was already minus move then. But then once you've got minus move, then then yeah, the piling on is pretty crap, honestly, with move three. <laughs> like you'd have to use it really sparingly, wouldn't you? Whereas guard, just not piling on and using guard every turn is pretty good, especially when he's pretty guard light. So I, I quite like that. Uh, I quite like pick now that I know that uh, now that I know he's minus movement. But I think he should have gone guard, honestly. Like it's not just because I've I've got a dodge team. I just think you know there's more bash teams. Getting an extra guard for those games is good, and uh, he's already got one tackle ball. So just guard would have been better, honestly. I I, I think it's genuinely better. It's. The problem, the problem that everyone faces, that isn't me or Eliod, <laughs> is you can build for or and uh, and King Boo. Of course, he's got rats. Like rats are kind of like elves, aren't they? But you've got to like build more against Adge teams or more against Bash teams. If you're a Bash team, you can't really build against both. But if you're an Adge team, you do build against both. Like just automatically, Agile teams build against both, and Bash teams don't. So, and then there's you know there's more Bash teams, so the Bash teams are incentivized to build more against Bash, because if they don't, well they've got a good chance of losing to the nine Bash teams. But uh, and then if they if they neglect the Elf matchup, then they've got a really good chance of losing to the two and a half Elves. So it's. Uh, it is tough for the bash teams in this kind of a league. You know, you've got to prioritise one or the other, and it looks like Jedi has, you know, prioritised the uh, the elf teams a bit. Which huge blitz here? We do see the greed, but again, greed not so good, right? Greed not so good when you can't pile on. Which is a bit of a problem, but the horns did the job. That's the foul win. Does nothing. Would have had two more assists in Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> Honestly, some of the rules in Blood Bowl 3 are pretty good. Like it's, It feels nice to get guard assists on fouls. <laughs> really weird though, Blood Bowl 3. I don't know. Not I'm not 100% sold on the Blood Bowl 2020 rule set. TBH. Got a pile on here. No, he doesn't. He just killed him. <laughs> Perfect RNG. Apple comes out. Yep, works. So now it's going to be squeaky bum time for Jedi Bear. Squeaky bum time as uh, Apple is used on turn two. And there's two tackle pommers. And one is about to blitz right now. 
<laughs> and he's got a pile on every single turn as well. <laughs> Rerolls into another one in nine, so cheeky one in eighty one there. But this is tough, right? Because these three are like sandwiched between there, so that's not good. This is all just a mess, really, isn't he? He's got he's got the he's got the bolt bait carrying the ball, but the problem is he's got like the ball and a rubbish player, so he can't do stuff like blitz away with it and dodge away with it, so he's in a bit of a pickle here. I guess he's gotta dodge this ball away. And uh, get his ball. Okay, woof. Woof, rowdy. Rowdy. I don't think I don't think he's gonna enjoy. Woo. I don't think he's gonna enjoy committing this guy when he's uh, <laughs> when he's used his apple already. <laughs> Foul the Pommer. Like, you know, it's great getting rid of Pom, isn't it? I, I think we're all happy to get rid of Pom with uh, with Blood Bowl 2020, but you know, we've got sneaky git DP and guard on assists and you know, a bunch of stupid rules. The multiple reroll thing. There's, a, there's an awful lot of downsides about Blood Bowl 2020. Claw Pond was pretty stupid, so we're all going to be pretty happy when it's gone. That's a hard disagree from me, Sunslaker. I think it's very easy. <laughs> oh wow there's a dead uh, a dead skellington no regen oh it does regen oh. I thought that wasn't oh yeah that's oh, yeah. Stupid. So no region. He's got to think about his bulls, hasn't he? Here, Jerry Bear. Like he's got four turns left, and he's got to think about which turn he like moves his balls off. <laughs> oh wow, Le Double skulls into Le Double pals. Like really, the bulls are the only mobile players, and that's that strength four edge four. So it's. He's not really getting the Lord of Attrition, is he? In fact, he's had a guy cast on his own. A Kazna send-off he's taken. And he's only done once. He's actually getting out bash on his own drive. So some kind of desperation. Double bull dodge. Like, he probably wants them together so that they can both go at once. It's tough. Yeah, they're not being able to have to move out. You know, people said that that wasn't a big nerf, but it really was. Oh, wow. So only one reroll per turn. This could be the chance that uh, that Jedi was waiting for. He can move the ball up here. He can uh, blitz either way. And uh, get a bunch of... Oh, he can just go right up one, two. Oh, he's got to reroll that. He could hand off to this guy. Oh, he's in a tackle zone now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, so he does, he dodges off. And then he can go hand it off to this guy? No. Oh, double GFIs. Four. 
Ballsy play. Should have dodged to here, right? Oh, he's gone around that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I would have totally uh, run up this way. But here we go. Fireball comes in. All fail. <laughs> oh, yuck. I wonder if Chavite should have done the 5 plus dodge there. Honestly, 5 plus dodge looks pretty good, doesn't it? Not terrible. Not terrible. Going for the 5 plus dodge then. But you know, maybe he thinks he can. Uh... But like, the problem is with Kemri is they're not going to get the quick score back, are they? Even if you force him in early, you're not going to get the quick score back because you're Kemri. <laughs> so, uh, you know, like, pressure the stall is just, like, not very good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think I would have gone for the 5 plus blitz there. I mean, the thing is, it's it's a lot easier when you've got randoms, right? When randoms actually work, then you can uh, you can random agility on all of your beastmen, and then you'll get some dodge beastmen and some defensive beastmen, and a sneaky git beastman and stuff like that. And then if it skinks, then you know, or, or goblins or whatever, then you'll get uh, you'll get an occasional block and wrestle and occasionally a DP one. And then that DP one will then go for sneaky get after stuff like that. So lots of du doubles facilitate a lot of easier, uh, a lot easier. Can this guy? I know you can't do anything. With strength. Though. So this is the thing, right? Now Chavite can now he can do the safe play of getting this guy back and this guy over and force an earlier score, but even if he does force that earlier score, he ain't going to two-turn, is he? Probably. So this is why I think the dodge was better. There is a one claw, yeah, one claw, no piling on. So very easy to deal with a claw. And there's another Kaz. Miss next, only a rookie. But still, Jeddy's uh, Jeddy's dark elf opponents will be happy with that still. You don't even have to stall, right? Like, he could have stalled, you know, pretty easy stall here. Oh, pretty, pretty rowdy stall. I think he could have pretty easily stalled, but there's just no need to try because Kemri won't score a two turn. <laughs> so, so that, that's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing with Kemri. That's why I think the 5 plus dodge was the play. You know, maybe maybe he'll prove me wrong in scoring two turns, but I doubt it. I don't like exposing the bulls here. I think having the bull, bulls behind to react to wherever he goes is stronger. This is a uh, this is weak, isn't it? This is this is a gaping hole, a gaping hole, and best value that you can make. So it 
definitely going to blitz this guy. Maybe should have blitzed him with this fella, honestly. Because the Pommers have got to get down the field to score. So as much as you want to pom this guy, realistically you want to free your mighty blow guy and blitz him with mighty blow, don't you? So by bl taking this blitz, you're, you're almost... Uh, you're almost deciding that you're giving up on the score and you're just going to pom him. Yes, yeah, so he doesn't pom him, so... I don't know. I feel I feel like it was just better to get the mummy downfield. Because it, like, it's much better on a push, right? The thing is, if it's a push, it's much better pushing with the mummy. And then this mummy could have gone in there and stuff. Fucking ogres. Oh. Well, he's got the reroll and he's got sure hands, so it's. Well, he's only got one reroll, but I think he still had to reroll it anyway. Like, I think he had to do it. And maybe he could have done the pickup first. It's just nearly instant 2D on the ball. Not going for it. Interesting. That's super interesting, isn't it? I'd have definitely blocked this guy first and see if I powered to then blitz the ball. Because just basing these goons will be enough. Almost certainly. Right, the Skellingtons aren't there. <laughs> like, who cares? I guess basing the balls. Oof, not enough. So he wouldn't have been able to base the ball. I would have done that block first and then seen what it was. So then if I'd got that, then obviously the one behind the ball doesn't look so good, does it? So I think open with that and see what happens. Another regen. He's had pretty good regens as Chavite. Instant dub score. <laughs> I mean, the score was going to be very difficult, so it makes sense just trying to punch things. And this is the problem that Chavidi has had all season. He's, he's had loads of draws because how do you win these games? You know, as, as good as his team looks, you know, like it's it's TV efficient. Uh, he's got three really good Tomb Guardians. He's got two Tackle Pommers. He's got two decent carriers, but how does he win games? Like, it's just hard, isn't it? You know, he forced the early score, but it's not good enough because you Kenry and you can't score back. And then, what, he's going to try and score early with Kenry and then turn him over and score? Like, it's just it's just hard, isn't it? It's actually just hard to, to have a dominant season when it's hard to win. <laughs> Actually, oh my god, he's caught it with a palm. No piling on for you, buddy. No. Probably won't win all the defense. But you know, just any any no matter how you play with Kenry, it's hard to win, isn't it? It's just hard to win. Bulls can like you know, chaffs can have bulls going around doing things. Uh, claw teams can just slaughter teams a lot easier. Whereas Camry, it's like, yeah. I'd do more elfing because <laughs> I'm less likely to care about elves dying, which I know that sounds stupid after the uh, after the witch elf incident, but you know the fact is, I can just buy a witch elf, score two touchdowns, and have a complete player. Whereas if that had been a a claw palm beast man, you just screwed, right? You've got you've got nothing. You've got nothing and he's done. And now, obviously I didn't expect to have such a good witch, which makes the loss worse, but still. Dark Elves are the team. Yeah, but that's the thing, like... Yeah. 
it's really hard to bang the shit out of teams that hard. It really is hard to bang the shit out of teams that hard. And it really is. And like, you know, there's a couple of Necro teams in this league, and then, you know, obviously they've got regen, so that gets really hard to bang the shit out of them. Badly hurt. Regen fails, so lovely foul there. Elite fully invested in his fellow Chorfing, enough Chorfing to fellow Kemri. <laughs> Kemri uh, fan. Javidia has got a great record in CCL, by the way, with uh, Kemri. About 73%, I think. Really nice. But it is tricky to win, it is. It is tricky to get the wins. And also he hasn't banged anyone out. <laughs> he made like about five Kaz in seven or eight games. Like seven games, I think. I think he made like five Kaz in seven games. It was just stupid. Yeah, incredible record, yeah. I was probably like 50%. I probably played two games with him. I was, I was not a fan of Camry. <laughs> Kalon deterred. Hello. Kids left on count. Kalon. <laughs> oh, I'm fumble. Uh, I don't know what that means, Kalon, but I'm alright, thanks. How are you? <laughs> Lovely 3D. 3D. Another guy. <laughs> No, I don't have an hourglass uh, figure. I've got a, uh, I've got like a salt shaker figure. <laughs> oh, I've seen this. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, yeah, all right, thanks. All right. Potato figure. There you go. Potato figure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, EAB's got a salt shaker there. No, I could I could show you a picture of my salt shaker. It's, <laughs> it's it's very it's very pale. <laughs> Short and fat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Pillow, pillow, uh, <laughs> pillow form. How's the form? Pillow, yeah. Ah, well, he's banging things. He's banging things. But he's in a he's in a bit of a pickle, isn't he here? Oh man. Yeah, the hobble is crazy. I guess he's not in that much of a pickle, is he actually? Like, there's just not the guard, but he, he's got this guy. Wait a second. He's got this guy, hasn't he? 
And he could, like, do chains and stuff. It was pretty interesting. I'm... You could probably do something here. You could probably do something, but let's see. Oh, he's going for the he was going for the uh, vamp hit on the ball, wasn't he? Well, I say vamp, you know the hobble. If we got the power there. This hobble could have uh, come round. One, two, three. Honestly, this is better. I uh, say this is better. This is Blood Bowl three being better. It's so annoying when you're trying to path something out and you can't do anything because the replay is going on of the dodge there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I don't know what his plan was. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Like he, he, want, he wanted to go one, two. I guess would he, would he have followed? That doesn't work either. No, he wasn't really going to get around with her. With the hobble. Gets a surf here, though, doesn't he? That's nice. Question here is um, You've got uphill, haven't you? You've got uphill with this bull. I don't think there is a question, I think you just have to uphill with the bull. And then go for the uh Go for the hobble hit. I just think you're not like, like this is the conservative play, blitz him and then run back a bit, but I just don't think you're gonna have it. I guess it protects your good players, right? You just move your ball you move your hobble back and you dodge this guy out, so then you But you move the hobble back first. You definitely want this hobble back first, just quietly. Because you want him getting hit. So you can move him one more and then the the hobble there so like you've got a screen screen your hobble off um yeah so i quite like that actually go for a bit of go for a bit of protecting your team because it's not you just can't have enough players to mount a defense now have you and it looked pretty it looked like a bit tricky for javita at one point but i guess the removal is just stacking up Making it somewhat easy now. Can power forward either way. Surely he's going to go for this one. He's not, he's just not blitzing anybody. Wow, 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 wow. No blitz, no foul. Honestly, as, as Jedi, you just do the same thing again, right? Just uh, keep, your, keep your super hobble protected. Pretty nice seeing him not, not advance that turn. Lovely one day. The bulls are almost touching you. Yeah. He's just got enough to sneak round, probably here. I think I would have rather uh, done that hit first. Then blocked, you know, even though it's blocked, this block be blockless. Would free up him to move down. Come with you. 
Oh, but he's, he's switching sides a little bit. Big pow. Just stand firm. Geophy to score. Or oh, you come around the back, I don't know, I guess he's got him. So, is the play uphill? No, because the pal won't do anything. Like, it's got to be a pow because the push doesn't do anything. I guess, actually, if you, if you just push, then the, the he can come in, right? One, two, three, four, five, and then hit. So it's like an uphill for a 1D on the ball. A bit, it's a bit. This is a pretty good, pretty good turn from Javita. He had a lot to do that turn. It's a pretty good turn. I don't see. Uh, I don't see Jedi stopping this. Well, I mean, obviously, he might stop it by rolling a one. <laughs> but I think you start with that uphill. Yeah. I didn't need this ball because that ball could have then, like, you know, if it had been a pal. The ball could have come in for the assist. Oh dear. Well, I think if you do it, you know, I think the 4 plus to 2D the ball is worth it. From the hobble. And also, he did the, uh, he did the dodge right and he rolled a 5 on the first dodge. So he could have just declared the blitz, done the dodge, and if it worked, go for the break tackle onto this guy. So that's another way of doing that. That was probably better, because I think you've got to hit this. You can't just hope he doesn't. You know, like, these defences are nothing, right? Like, Hoper. Well, it's Hoper 2DB with block was quad skulls with the defence. Which isn't great. <laughs> isn't great odds. So... You know, I think Chavita should have done a 5 plus dodge in the first half. And I think Jedi should have done a 4 plus dodge in the second half. Oh, he rolled a 1! He's already double skulled against double skulled. Snake Eyes versus Elliot, but he doesn't this time. Gets the draw. And there you go. I can have a look at the table actually after this. Um, because the other week, the other week, the other match in week nine hasn't been played yet. Um, which obviously sucks a fair bit. Um, would have been really nice to have got them all played. Oh, it has been played. Wait. No, it hasn't. No, because they're bottom. <laughs> Don't mind me. It is the two bottom teams are playing each other, so it's not... It's not affecting anything at the top end of the league. Um, no offence to Drak and Squiggy, but you know, like in terms of the playoff pitches and stuff, it's it's not uh, it's not too bad for what's happening. Going for the uh, going for the bull centaur one turn, except. 
not. Going for the move six. He's got edge four. So it's. It's. I don't know, having to get the extra push. Like. Probably. Like, I don't know how it works out, but getting extra pushes is hard. I could imagine, even though his dodges are better. Just needing less pushes is probably better. Exactly, Saturday, you know. Well, I just didn't want to, like, say, you know, I didn't want to make it. It's a pointless game that no one cares about. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit mean, isn't it, to say nobody cares, but it it's just not impactful into the playoff situation. That's that's the thing, isn't it? It doesn't impact the playoff situation. It's actually it's brilliant content. So there you go anyway, that was a match. Um Pretty, pretty standard, I guess, right? They both got their drives done. Um, there were both chances to stop, and they both got in a bit of trouble. In the end, Jedi lost too many players to really do much in the second half, but um, I think they could have both done for a bit spicier dodges, right? Five, there was a 5-plus on for Chavita. There was a 4-plus on for uh, Jedi, and I think they maybe, they maybe should have gone for those players. Um, because, you know, hoping, good, making a safe play, probably not going to work. Right, let's look at the league table now, anyway. We've got, this has got the points, so this is a bit better. This is a bit better than the one in game, right, because this has the points. So, um, we can see Elliot's on 23, almost guaranteed to be number one seed. I'm on 19, Danton's on 18, and then Jedi is quite far behind on 14. And uh, this was a week for, like, everybody to, like... All the results could have gone badly for me. It is spoilers for that, yeah. Um, all of the results could have gone badly for me, but they all went pretty well for me. And uh, so now Jedi's got to win both to get to 20 points. So, and obviously... And he's got to play me. So if he, win, if he wins against me, he'll have the head-to-head -head tiebreaker... So, if he wins two, I've got to win my final game against Squiggy to qualify. You know, or maybe Danton loses and draws or whatever. Uh, but King Boo can't catch me. He only gets to 18. And then he could potentially catch Danton. So, King Boo and that there, Phil, can potentially catch Danton. But, yeah, it was crazy. After week eight, it was wide open. And now, like, all of the people who were chasing, like, drew or lost... So um, it ended up that actually, like I won, Danton won, and then all of the people chasing lost or drew. So it actually really resolved almost certainly, almost certainly the top three. Uh, there is a slight chance of Jedi um, catching us, but it's almost certainly these are going to be the top three. And then the top eight is still very much up for grabs because we've got two people on 11. Seventh and eighth are both on 11. And then 9 and 10 are on 10 and 9. So that's definitely up for grabs who the, uh, you know, two people are going to miss out out of these four. Maybe Phil, you know, maybe King Boo. But more likely, obviously, between these four. So there you go. That's that's the state of the league right now. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.